What is up, XFM? You guys read the title of the video, so let's get going to it. Today, we're going to talk about printer axes, all right? Everyone wants one because it pretty much guarantees you to print money for a long period of time without really having to reinvest anything back into your farm, but they are usually very, very expensive. And just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about, I want to show you guys some of the printers that I bred today. They're, you know, they're not 100% printers, but they're pretty darn good. And I'll just show you what you should expect if you wanted to buy those printers from the market, there's obviously gonna be a markup there. Someone willing to sell their printers either believes that that type of axis is not gonna be profitable in the recent future, or they, they're they gonna put a like an unreasonable price there, and if someone pays it, they'll you know, gladly accept it and move on to whatever next uh, sort of breed they think is gonna be profitable. So what I am breeding right now is uh, one of the breeds that I'm doing right now, because I do have my own farm and my investor farm, uh, is actually this XC here, all right? And when we actually select for breed as well as the actual stats, yeah, this, this is what actually shows up. And if you look at the, you know, overall more expensive ones, we can see that we have, you know, somehow pretty close to printers, right? This one has triple Piranha, triple Arco. Uh, it only has one Impurity in Scarab and one in Nemo. So you could say this is this one is pretty close to printer. Uh, this one is similar as well. It's I don't think it should be more expensive, but overall, uh, you know, this is the ballpark that we're talking about. If you if you wanted to buy your printers from the marketplace, and that would be at least one ether. And sure, you could print those guys, you know, five, even six times, and in maybe two or three uh, actual stages of breeding, you would get your money back, and after that, everything would be profits. But that's very expensive and, you know, kind of scary, considering that a lot of people are still very cold feet uh, towards the XE marketplace. I actually got relatively good printers, and you know how much I paid for the parents? This one that I'm going to show you, I paid 0.03 in one of the parents and 0.05 in one of the parents, all right? Uh, so this is the first one I have to show. So it has double Arco, triple Scarab, double Nemo, pretty much perfect Arco parts on top, and it only has the risky fish impurity, which, by the way, is one... Uh, type of exit that also sells quite a bit like Parang is the upgraded version of Risky Fish So even though it's an impurity you still sell the breeded Axie for uh, a relatively high price So it's different than if this was like, uh, you know, Nutcracker. It would definitely be worth much less and I paid 0.08 Ethereum combined to get to this and like the, the way I was able to do that is actually the sponsor of this video. And before we even, you know, start talking about it, I just want to, you know, tell you guys, like you don't need to buy these expensive axes from the marketplace because a lot of times, like a lot of times the, the you know, impurity weirdos that you get from breeding that people sell for cheap, though there's so much value in some of these guys if you know your timing and if you know exactly what you're going to, to get. So th there's two things that you need when you're breeding axes that look wonky. And I'm gonna show you the parents, right? So this is the first guy that I bought and uh, you can see that he has Bidens, which is terrible on an X like that, but he actually had Scarab in R1, he had Perfect Nemo, he had Double Arco, really good eyes and ears, as well as Piranha with Risky Fish, which is probably like the best you can have uh, unless it was Perfect Piranha. So for 0 0.03, I thought this was a really good uh, buy. And then we have this guy. He actually has Cattail, which is also a plant part, usually a no-no for any uh, Aqua Axie, but because it has double Nemo, perfect Scarab, has double Arco, as well as Piranha in DNR2, I thought that this was a decent bet, especially considering the impurity it has in R1 uh, in the eyes and ears is actually from a bird part, so you still get decent speed, which most of the time is uh, what matters the most for these uh, types of axes. Obviously, having the uh, HP from Aqua is better, but the bird is not, you know, like a deal breaker by any means. And this was also very cheap. And let me show you the five axes that I that I got from uh, breeding this. All right, let's uh, let's take a look here. So 
look at this guy. I actually didn't even show you this one. This one is even better. Perfect Aqua has triple Piranha, triple Scarab, triple Nemo, only Mary being in Impurity in our one. Like, look at this guy. I mean, oh, okay, this, this one's actually bugged. So I'm not sure if this is a different uh, parent or not. I actually had two farms and with both of these farms, I actually bought only one Axie that had all of the forest kills. A lot of people, you know, when, when, when I talk to them about this, they, they get super scared. And yeah, this one, far from a pinter, th this one is probably one that I'll be selling. But like when you consider that I was able to get my hands into something like this, it's just like... This is this is a gold mine. This makes me smile as a breeder. Uh, what else do we have here? Mm, all right, so triple Nemo, triple Scarab, double Arco, double pr triple Prang. Oh man, this is also good. Like uh, it's unfortunate that they are uh, brothers, so I can't really breed this guy with this guy. Uh, the only kind of sad part is actually the Cucumber Slice, but it's such a good printer that uh, I don't care. Like, even if the uh, if we get one Impurity, like, I'm sure I can get some similar ones that are really good. And the way you are able to find these wonky axes, like the one... Uh, let me check the appearance for this one. Yeah, the appearance here are different. So, this one actually has serious another plant part. So, I used three axes with plant parts that were worth so little. But I was still able to get really good access because this one has double Piranha in R1, R2, double Arco, triple Nemo. And this one ha only has one Scarab, but it has the perfect eyes and ears. Whereas this guy, I actually made sure to get a triple Scarab on the, the right side to compensate for all that. And well, I, I, I didn't actually had to, uh, to compensate for that. You know what? Because I have my freaking bot that actually does all of that for me. Basically what I do is I get, uh, so here it's a command, it's Piranha, Arcos, Carib, Nemo. I'm looking for probability, uh, but here I'm looking for seven breed because I was looking at the actual gra uh, price graph for this particular Axie. But what I wanna do is actually look at zero breeds in case I wanted to, to go for this breed and then use the breed lock command. This command will give me a list of the best Axies uh, for a good price for me to go for for these types of axes and uh, i can actually get them for 0 0.119 so if we go back to the marketplace so okay yeah i think it, here it is so 0 0.122 is the price for one axi of this particular kind the cheapest zero breed you can find and you know it has plant parts this is uh you know even though it looks really good with this curb and nemo there it's it's definitely not great and i'll be spending 0 0.22 at at least right if i was able to get another one like this but this is the actual other cheap one that we have but the bot actually found a higher probability if I bought from something else. So the two axes that it suggests here, uh, they are not the uh, neither two of those axes. So I actually, I'm very curious to see what the bot is going to recommend. So it recommended this guy. Oh, look at this. Oh, baby. 0 0.032, guys. Z sure. Uh, the, the reason it's actually showing some impurities in the eyes and ears is that I didn't actually filter for the eyes and the ears. So this is just a, a quick example. But 0 0.032 is so cheap. This is so cheap. And then we have this one, 0 0.087. And it actually has double Arco, the Scarab and the Nemo. Sure, it has a, a couple of impurities. And maybe the reason that these two were not suggested is because I didn't really filter for having aqua parts in the eyes and the ears. But this is still, like, I'm sure if we look at the actual uh, yields that we would get for bringing something like this, I'm sure it would be uh, a relatively high yield. Like, nowadays, with, uh, you know, usually you see people only breeding three or four times. I feel like this is definitely something we can breed five times if we want to. Uh, but yeah, like four or three times, still gonna give you a 52. This is the highest yield you could get. But a lot of people, they get blinded by the percentage that you will get from, from breeding. Because at the end of the day, you have to think that, like, this is just your first breed. Once you get your parents and you're not paying for them anymore, uh, the game completely changes and you have to think about just having the best purity possible so that your farm 
uh, just yields very high quality axes where you never have to buy other axes from the marketplace. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, this video is more about showing off the printers that I had than anything. Like, I, I mean, I, I talked about how to select axes in this YouTube video, uh, like in this YouTube, I already talked about how to select axes in this YouTube channel for a while. Um, like, I, I just got so many really good axes that uh, I just, I guess wanted to use this as, you know, like a wake up call for people that are actually bringing like this is so good like if you if you go into the marketplace and you buy from these super expensive printers it, sure you might be able to make money but a lot of people they don't have that much initial investment first of all and uh that's that's really you know at the end of the day our bot it allows people with less money to actually participate in this game that only a lot of people with a lot of money or people that have been into exit for a long time that already were able to accumulate enough assets so that they became you know barons of axie and stuff like that so yeah i'll be selecting what i'll breed and, and all of that this is going to be a short video but uh yeah if if you are into breeding if you are confused if you feel like the prices of axes are too expensive to start breeding Maybe you should check out our bot or maybe you should get uh, consulting done with me because there are definitely gold mines with those cheap axes that could easily uh, make you, I mean, a lot of money, honestly. Like, there's still so much to grow with Axie. We know that uh, Origin is not going to drop in between Season 20 because with all of the spoilers and all of the things that we got from Jiho's Twitter, we know there's so many new cards that there's no, there's no way... Uh, that, that those axes would uh, that, that things would change right now right so we have at least two months of breeding with a lot of people actually really invested into axie because of the 7 million usd price pool total price pool that they announced so let's just get going guys this is super exciting have a good one and see ya